two decades, the Brick Car Endurance Championship has provided high caliber sporting competition. At its height, it was the most popular endurance racing series in the country. In recent times, Brick Car has fallen out of the spotlight, but the championship comes under new ownership for the first time in 2016 and is being given a fresh injection of enthusiasm and a complete relaunch. The ambition is basically to get Brick Car back to endurance racing. That's where it belonged 10 years ago. Feedback has basically been longer races. Some have seen two to four hours is the plan. GT cars, production cars, all in one race. But we're also going to put a production championship back out there again, so there'll be two 50-minute races. In addition to working for prominent organisations such as the Thoroughbred Grand Prix Championship, the BARC and the BRSCC, Claire spent 10 years working for Britcar during its heyday. And as a racing driver herself, Claire is also in a good position to understand exactly what the competitors need from the championship. I feel it is a driver's championship. We want to do the championship for them. So we've had committee meetings, meetings deciding what they want, back to what the customer wants. One of the core strengths of Brick Car has been the eclectic and interesting mix of cars on the grid. It's never been exclusively for exotic GTs and eye-catching sports prototypes. As Brick Car director and experienced racing driver Rob Headley explains. My first race was in a Honda Civic X British Touring Car. We did a four-hour race, we finished 10th overall out of 30-odd cars and it was like we'd won the race because this little tiny little Honda just kept going round and round and round and that's what we want to get back to instead of just the the big boys in the expensive cars, which of course are nice to have and of course the crowds like them. We want the teams that have got the Hondas and the BMW M3s, we want those cars back on the grid and doing endurance racing because from speaking to the competitors that's what they want. They want to race longer races as opposed to just doing sprint races all the time. As part of a much more customer focused approach, the teams, guests and sponsors can benefit from professional hospitality at every round. Leading manufacturer Dunlop have signed a three-year deal to be the championship's official tyre supplier. Drivers and sponsors will also benefit from increased media exposure with a coordinated programme of social media activity and international television coverage throughout the season. We've got eight rounds provisionally planned at the moment. So we've got Croft, Alton Park, we've got Rockingham, Silverstone Grand Prix, Brands Indy, so a huge selection of circuits roughly one a month, one day meetings. So back to endurance racing, which is what the home of Brick Car should be about. Perhaps most important of all though, is the development of new regulations, designed to be as fair as possible. We want people to be able to bring in their car and see within a set sort of structure how they can improve their car, but still keep within the class. One of the problems at the moment, the regulations are quite open. So guys look at the regulations, think what can I do? And they haven't really got a clue what they can do. So I've come up with a new system where we take the brake horsepower, we take the torque divided by the vehicle weight, which gives us a, a power to weight indicator, which is unique to our championship. Also, we've put a set of modifiers, so if the car's got a flat floor, if it's got an adjustable splitter or a fixed splitter, it gets so many points added or taken away. So if a guy's got 400 brake horsepower, but very basic equipment, whereas a car with 200 brake horsepower with full four-way adjustable suspension is going to be as quick as, but if you just go on the pure horsepower, that car is just going to struggle. So what we want is to get a fair platform for the guys to run in so that someone isn't, doesn't feel like they're just throwing money at a race car and it's not getting them anywhere. They'll hopefully get into a class that suits their car as opposed to just being bumped in on their brake horsepower, which is what happens on most championships. The revamped system provides greater transparency and gives the teams more input and understanding of the way the cars are classified. It's quite a simple system to do. It takes five minutes to fill in your car details. It'll all be online, you can play around with it, see if you take some weight out or if you had a bit more brake horsepower, see where it leaves you in the class structure. You then submit that to us via the website. That then becomes your profile and that also gives the scrutineers uh, a technical passport for the car where they can literally go along and say, right, you said you've got this, this and this and they can check it on the car and of course the brake horsepower can then be checked on a rolling road or anything like that if we have any discrepancies. After months of careful planning, consultation and some very positive feedback from the teams, the Brick Car Endurance Championship is set to start an exciting new chapter.
it's just good seat time. That's what I'm trying to do. I've compared it with quite a few of the other championships out there, and I'm trying to make sure the price is the best out there to get you know good value for money.